Learning English is not just about studying a new language, it's about opening a world of possibilities. English is one of the most important languages in the world today. Why is that? Well, let me give you a few reasons. First, English is spoken in so many countries. You can travel to different parts of the world, from the United States to the United Kingdom, Australia to Canada, and even in many countries where English is not the first language. You will still find people who can speak it. Imagine that wherever you go, knowing English will help you communicate with others, whether it's at the airport, in a hotel, or even while making new friends from different cultures. But English is not only important when you travel. Think about the workplace. Today, many companies, whether big or small, are looking for people who can speak English. Why? Because English is the language of international business. If you want to work for a company that deals with people from different countries, or if you want to study abroad, English is the key. It helps you understand others and share your ideas clearly. Maybe you're dreaming of studying in an English-speaking country, or you want to take an online course from a university far away. English makes that possible, too. Many of the best courses, especially those online, are in English. Once you understand English, you can learn anything else more easily, from technology to science, from art to history. So much knowledge is shared in English. But let's not forget about the fun part. English is also the language of entertainment. Do you love watching movies? Think about all the amazing movies made in Hollywood. When you learn English, you can watch them without needing subtitles. Or maybe you enjoy listening to music. So many popular songs are in English, and understanding the lyrics makes the music even more special. It's like opening up a new level of enjoyment. Even video games, books, TV shows, and social media, there's so much more to explore when you know English. So you see, my dear students, learning English can truly change your life. It helps you connect with people, understand new things, and enjoy the world in a different way. Whether you want to travel, get a great job, or simply watch your favorite TV show without subtitles, English will help you do all of that and more. Now, you might be wondering, how can I get better at English? It seems so difficult. Don't worry, I'm here to help you with that. Today, we're going to talk about some easy ways to learn and improve your English step by step. No matter where you are in your learning, you can improve every day if you follow the right steps. In the next part of this journey, I'll share with you some simple tips that will make learning English easier and more fun. So, are you ready to start? Let's begin this wonderful journey together. And remember, learning a language is like planting a tree. It takes time to grow, but with care and attention, it becomes strong and beautiful. Why learn English? Before we dive into how to learn English, let's take a moment to understand why learning English is so important. You may have already heard people say that English is a global language or that it's necessary for success in many areas of life, but let's explore this idea more deeply. First, did you know that English is spoken in more than 100 countries around the world? Whether you are in Europe, Asia, Africa, or the Americas, there's a good chance you'll meet someone who speaks English. It's not just the official language of countries like the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, and Canada. It's also widely spoken in countries where it isn't the native language. In places like India, Germany, Japan, or Brazil, 
English is commonly used as a second language for business, business travel, and education. Imagine being able to communicate with people from all these different places, even if you don't speak their native language. English becomes the bridge that connects you to the world. Learning English opens up a world of opportunities. Let's start with something as simple as travel. Picture yourself visiting a new country. You're at an airport, port, or train station, and all the signs are in English. The announcements you hear are in English, and the people at the information desk speak English, too. When you know English, you don't have to worry about getting lost or not understanding directions. You can confidently ask for help, book tickets, check into hotels, and even chat with locals. Traveling becomes more enjoyable when you can understand what's going on around you and communicate easily with others. Now, let's think about how English can help you in your professional life. Today, we live in a world where businesses are more connected than ever before. Many companies, even in non-English speaking countries, use English to communicate with international partners, clients, or customers. If you speak English, you have a huge advantage in the job market. It can help you get a promotion, land a job in an international company, or even work abroad. Employers love to hire people who can communicate well in English because it shows that you can handle global business. Knowing English opens the door to better jobs, higher salaries, and career growth. But the benefits don't stop there. Learning English also allows you to access a vast amount of information that might not be available in your native language. Think about the books you want to read, the movies you want to watch, or the songs you want to listen to. So many of the world's most popular books, films, and songs are in English. If you know English, you don't need translations or subtitles. You can enjoy them in their original form and understand them the way they were meant to be understood. Reading a book or watching a movie in its original language is a much richer experience than relying on a translation. For example, many of the world's most famous movies are produced in Hollywood, where English is the primary language. When you learn English, you can watch these movies and understand the dialogues, the jokes, and the cultural references without having to wait for a translated version. You can laugh along with the characters, cry with them, and fully immerse yourself in the story. The same goes for music. So many of the top songs on the radio are in English. When you know the language, you can sing along and truly feel the meaning behind the lyrics. And let's not forget about books. If you enjoy reading, learning English gives you access to countless books from around the world. Whether it's classic literature, modern fiction, or nonfiction, you'll find a treasure trove of knowledge in English. Authors like William Shakespeare, J.K. Rowling, and George Orwell wrote their famous works in English. When you read them in their original language, you get the full experience of their creativity and style. But it's not just about famous authors. English gives you access to educational resources as well. Many scientific papers, research articles, and university courses are published in English. If you want to learn about new technology, medicine, or even art, Knowing English will give you the knowledge you need. Now, think about your social life. Do you enjoy meeting new people? With English, you can make friends from all over the world. Imagine chatting with someone from Japan, Brazil, or France, all in English. You can learn about different cultures, share your own experiences, and build friendships that cross borders. 
English is a language that connects people from different countries and backgrounds, allowing you to broaden your social network in ways you may never have thought possible. With social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube being widely used in English, you can follow influencers, read posts, and leave comments in English, joining global conversations. As you can see, there are so many reasons to learn English. Whether it's for work, travel, education, entertainment, or simply to connect with more people, English is the key that unlocks all these doors. The world is becoming more connected every day, and learning English helps you be a part of that global community. It gives you the ability to understand others and to express yourself clearly, no matter where you are in the world. Now that we've covered why learning English is so valuable, you might be asking yourself, how can I actually learn English? Where do I start, and what's the best way to improve? Don't worry, I'm here to guide you through that too. There are many ways to learn English, and I'm going to share some of the best tips with you. These tips will help you start strong and continue improving every day. Whether you're just beginning or already have some knowledge, these tips will make your learning journey easier and more enjoyable. Are you ready? Let's move on to the first tip, and I promise you learning English will become not only easier but also a lot of fun. Tip 1. Start with simple vocabulary. When you are just starting to learn English, the first and most important step is to build your vocabulary with simple words. Now, you might be thinking, but there are so many words in English, where do I begin? Don't worry, my dear students. The best way to start learning any language, including English, is by focusing on the things that are most familiar to you, things you see, use, or talk about every day. Let me give you an example. Think about the things in your house. Every day, you use objects like a chair, a table, or a cup. These are everyday items that you see all the time. Learning the English words for these things is a great way to start. So, the next time you sit at your table to have breakfast, say to yourself, this is a table. When you drink from your cup, think, I am using a cup. As you practice this daily, you'll start remembering these words easily because they're already part of your life. The more you say them, the more they will stick in your memory. You can also start learning words related to things outside your home. For example, when you step outside, think about the trees, the cars, or the buildings you see. Learn these words one by one. Slowly but surely, you will build a list of simple words that you use in everyday life. Every time you see these things, try to recall the English word for them. It's like creating a mental map of English words around you. Soon, you'll find that it becomes a habit to think of things in English. Once you've started with objects, it's a good idea to move on to basic actions and phrases. Actions are the things you do every day, like walk, eat, sleep, or read. Just like with objects, try to connect the action with the English word for it. When you walk to the store, say to yourself, I am walking. When you sit down to eat dinner, think, I am eating. By connecting these simple actions to their English words, you'll begin to feel more comfortable using the language. Now, let's talk about simple phrases. In every language, we use phrases to greet people, ask for things, and show politeness. English is no different. Start by learning common phrases like, hello, how are you, or thank you. These are phrases you can use every day. When you greet someone, try saying hello instead of using your native language. 
When someone helps you, practice saying, thank you. These phrases might seem very simple, but they are powerful because they allow you to communicate right from the start. Don't worry if you make mistakes or feel shy at first, it's all part of the learning process. Remember, learning a language is like building a house. You need to start with a strong foundation, and in this case, your foundation is simple vocabulary. Every word you learn is like adding a brick to your house. It may feel slow at the beginning, but with each new word, your house will grow. Soon, you'll have enough words to start forming sentences, and then, before you know it, you'll be having conversations. One more important tip, don't try to learn too many words at once. It's easy to get excited and want to memorize hundreds of words in one day, but that can be overwhelming. Instead, focus on learning a few words each day, maybe five or ten. Write them down, use them in sentences, and practice saying them out loud. The key is to use the words you learn so that they become part of your daily language. Little by little, these words will become a natural part of how you think and speak. Another fun way to learn simple vocabulary is by using flashcards. You can write the English word on one side and a picture or the translation in your native language on the other. Look at the cards every day and quiz yourself. This is a great way to remember new words, and you can carry the flashcards with you wherever you go. Whenever you have a few minutes, like while waiting for the bus or during a break, pull out your flashcards and review your vocabulary. You can also try learning with apps or games. There are many language learning apps that can help you practice simple words and phrases in a fun and interactive way. These apps often include pictures, sounds, and quizzes, which make learning more enjoyable. They also allow you to practice at your own pace, so you can go as slow or fast as you like. Games are another great way to learn without even realizing you're studying. Word games, crossword puzzles, or matching games can help reinforce the vocabulary you're learning. Finally, don't forget to listen and repeat. One of the best ways to learn new words is to hear them in context. Listen to simple conversations in English, whether in movies, videos, or even podcasts. When you hear a new word, repeat it out loud. You can even watch children's shows in English. These are great because they use simple language and are easy to follow. Listening to how native speakers say the words will help you with pronunciation, and repeating them will train your brain to remember them. So, my dear students, remember this, start small. Begin with simple words, words that are part of your daily life. Learn them, use them, and practice speaking them out loud. As you build your vocabulary, you are building your confidence. Every new word is a step forward in your English learning journey and brings you closer to reaching your goals. Tip 2. Practice speaking every day. Now let's talk about something really important, speaking. When learning English, one of the best ways to improve is to speak every day. I know that might sound a little scary at first, but trust me, the more you practice speaking, the better and more confident you will feel. Start by trying to say a few simple sentences out loud. It doesn't have to be anything complicated. For example, you can say things like, I am happy, or I like apples. These are easy sentences that will help you get used to speaking in English. You can also practice by talking to your friends or family members in English. It doesn't matter if they aren't native speakers, what's important is that you are using the language. 
You could ask them simple questions like, how are you today? Or, what did you do yesterday? The more you speak, the more natural it will feel. And here's a fun tip. If you don't have anyone to talk to, talk to yourself. Yes, I know it sounds a little funny, but it really helps. When you're alone at home or walking down the street, just start speaking to yourself in English. You can describe what you're doing, like, I am going to the store, or, it's a sunny day. This will help you practice speaking without any pressure. Another great way to improve your speaking skills is by listening to how native speakers talk. When you watch TV shows, movies, or listen to English music, pay attention to how they say the words. Try to repeat what they say and mimic their pronunciation. This will help you sound more natural when you speak. Remember, the goal is to practice every single day. Even if it's just for a few minutes, that daily practice will make a big difference over time. Speaking English is like learning to ride a bike. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. So don't be shy, and don't worry about making mistakes. Every time you speak, you are improving, and that's what matters most. Tip 3. Use English in daily activities. One of the fastest ways to improve your English is by using it in your daily life. This doesn't mean you need to change everything all at once, but start small and make English part of your routine. For example, if you like reading books in your native language, try reading a few pages in English too. You don't have to understand everything at first, just focus on learning a few new words and phrases. Over time, you'll get better. When you're outside, take a look at the signs you see on the road or in stores. Try reading them in English. This can help you associate words with real-life objects and places, making it easier to remember them. You can also make learning fun by changing the language on your phone or social media apps to English. Since you already know how your phone works, this will help you learn new words without feeling overwhelmed. Another great idea is to watch TV shows, movies, or videos in English. Turn on the subtitles to help you understand what's being said. This way, you can hear how words are pronounced and see how sentences are structured. You'll also learn how native speakers talk in everyday situations. Whether it's a short video on YouTube or your favorite movie, it's a fun and relaxing way to practice English. By doing these small activities, you'll be surprised at how much English you can learn just by living your everyday life. The key is to make English a regular part of your routine. Tip 4 don't be afraid of mistakes. Now here's something very important to remember. It's okay to make mistakes. In fact, mistakes are one of the best ways to learn. Many students worry about saying the wrong thing or using incorrect grammar, but trust me, every mistake you make helps you grow. When you try to speak or write in English and make a mistake, don't get discouraged. Instead, think of it as a learning opportunity. Each time you correct a mistake, you get a little bit better. The more you practice, the fewer mistakes you'll make. So whether you're speaking to someone or writing a sentence, don't hold back just because you might make an error. Everyone learning a new language goes through this, even native speakers make mistakes sometimes. The important thing is to keep trying. The more you speak and write, the more confident you'll become. It's normal to feel nervous at first, but remember, no one learns without making mistakes. The key to improving is to keep going, no matter how many times you stumble. So don't be afraid to try, because every effort brings you closer to mastering English. 
Tip 5. Practice listening. Another key part of learning English is practicing your listening skills. Listening to English helps you understand how the language sounds, how sentences are formed, and how native speakers express themselves. It's like tuning your ear to the rhythm of the language. One simple way to practice is by listening to English songs. Music is a fun and relaxing way to improve your English without even realizing it. You can start with songs that are slow and have clear lyrics so it's easier to follow along. Try to listen carefully to the words and even sing along if you can. This not only helps with listening but also improves your pronunciation. Another great idea is to listen to podcasts or audiobooks in English. There are many podcasts made for people learning English where they speak slowly and use simple words. You can listen while you're doing other things like cooking, walking, or just relaxing at home. The more you listen, the more your brain will get used to hearing English, and over time, you'll understand more and more. At first, it might feel difficult to understand everything, and that's okay. Start with short podcasts or simple songs and gradually move on to more complex material. What's important is to listen every day, even if it's just for a few minutes. This daily practice will help you improve your understanding of the language. Remember, listening is just as important as speaking. The more you hear how words are used in conversations, the easier it will be for you to understand English in real-life situations. So make sure to add listening to your daily routine. Tip 6. Read, read, read. One of the best ways to learn English is by reading. Reading helps you see how words are used in sentences and teaches you new vocabulary in a natural way. The more you read, the more familiar you will become with the language. When you're just starting out, it's important to pick simple books or articles. You don't need to challenge yourself with difficult novels or long essays. Instead, choose something with easy words and short sentences. For example, children's books, beginner-level English readers, or simple news articles are a great place to start. As you read, pay attention to the words you don't know. You can write them down and look them up later. But don't worry if you don't understand everything right away, that's completely normal. The goal is to practice and get comfortable with English. By reading, you also learn about grammar without even realizing it. You'll see how sentences are structured, how different tenses are used, and how words fit together. This will make you a better writer and speaker because you'll start to think in English more easily. In addition, reading can be fun. You can read about topics you enjoy, like hobbies, sports, or places you'd like to visit. When you're interested in what you're reading, you'll find it easier to stay motivated. So make a habit of reading every day even if it's just for a few minutes. The more you read, the more you'll improve your English skills. It's a simple, enjoyable way to learn and grow. Tip 7. Consistency is key. The last and perhaps the most important tip I have for you is this. Consistency is key. Learning a new language is like learning to play a musical instrument or getting good at a sport you need to practice every day. It doesn't have to be for hours, just a few minutes a day can make a big difference. Think about it like this, if you practice English for even 10 minutes a day, over time you'll see great improvement. These small daily habits will help you build confidence and skill. Maybe one day you read a short story, another day you listen to a podcast, or simply practice speaking to yourself or someone else. It all adds up.
When you're consistent, English becomes a part of your daily routine, and the more you use it, the better you'll get. It's like watering a plant. Just a little water each day helps it grow strong and healthy. So no matter how busy your day is, try to fit in a little English practice. Over time, you'll notice just how much you've improved. Conclusion. So, my dear students, now you have some of the best tips to help you learn English. Remember, it's a journey, and every step you take brings you closer to your goal. Start with simple words to build your vocabulary, then practice speaking every day. Don't forget to listen to English songs or podcasts, and try to read as much as you can. Most importantly, don't be afraid of making mistakes; they are a natural part of learning. Consistency is your best friend, so make English a part of your daily life, even if it's just for a few minutes each day. With patience and effort, you will get better and better. I believe in you. You can do it. Let's learn English together and have fun while doing it. Keep going, and soon you'll be speaking English with confidence.